Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Wines of Alsace Pinot Noir tasting, uh, coming to you today from Adelaide in South Australia. Today, what we've got is a range of Pinot Noir. Uh, these are all brand new releases. Our next wine uh, from Paul Farrar in uh, Alsace. And our first reaction with this wine is, wow, that's expensive packaging. <laughs> it, it, it looks stunning. It looks to be worth what, three, four, five times what they're selling it for. Um, so this one here is one for the Burgundy Tragics to say, no, look at Alsace, have a look at these wines. And um, Tom, your, your first reaction on this wine. It, it's a big mouthful of wine. Mm. It's, uh, look, you go, look, you go looking a little bit for the Pinot character because I think the fermenting in oak has given it a, a lovely kind of a rich round, um, complex vanillary character. Yeah. The Pinot comes through after a little while and it is a really, really, really good wine. Mm. I mean, the, the, the colour for a 19, still got loads of purpley hues there, it's got real depth. It's a wine that's going to live on, I mean, I'd just like to see it in five years' time. Mm. Mm. Well, I think the um, name, uh, you know, the, the Paul Farrow uh, Pinot Noir, that, the Vinifin That's Barry. exceptional it's value wine. Superb, yeah. Um, I think the tannins are much more expressive in this one. I don't know if everyone agree, but I can find this more expressive tannins. So everything so far was like a middle tannins, but in this one you jump in the middle plus tannins, and I guess it was the added from the from the oak as well. And definitely having much more body, and definitely have these beautiful characteristics from the oak. It's beautiful. It's a really, it's really a lovely wine. Um, it's it's drinking really well. I, I do want to see how it continues to evolve and develop. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, while it does have that tannin structure, I think that we saw in the Cauvin Gelier, um, it it's got a it's got a lovely texture, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I see how that's going to really help it develop, continue mm -hmm. to develop. Um, all around, really smart wine. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, interestingly, if you were getting a wine from down the road at three times the price, you wouldn't even, they probably wouldn't have even released a 2019 yet. Now, the bottle, I am in love with this bottle. Uh, wow. I, I think the Burgundy bottle is, it's on a bit of a wave at the moment. Mm. So they're going to capture a lot of market with the Burgundy bottle, but they've obviously gone the raised Alsatian neck, yes. uh, which is still, it still goes, I'm Alsace. Um, mm hear me roar, like I'm coming for you. Well, it tells you exactly kind of, I'm coming for you, right? Where it's from, exactly what's yeah. in it. You yeah. know? So there's no question for the consumer yeah. point of sale. But do you know that they, that they think about the label, the package, you have a golden. Mm. Do you know what the golden means? Yes. Is it you, it doubts to, to think anything about, golden always means like luxury. Yeah. So premium. luxury premium. Mm. So if you just have a look at this and see a golden label, people just say like, yeah. I wanted to give this one a present for someone. I think the label is quite smart. Mm. I love the golden touch. Beautiful presentation. Um, beautiful yeah. presentation. The colors is very clean. It's very classic. And it seems like a very expensive bottle. So a message to uh, Jean-Yves in uh at the winery is uh, put your price up and put it in a gift box and absolutely. yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. After we've bought some. Great, great packaging, it's really smart label, fantastic wine making. Yeah. Um, good fruit. It's it's full body. Day. Full stars. Great wine. Yeah. yeah, it's good one. And it, and appeal to the Australian palate. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. What do you um, reckon, Dan? You can sit and drink this enjoyably on its own, and then bring out an antipasto or food, and it'll just keep drinking the same wine mm. rather than have to change because it's got the, the depth and character yeah. and structure. Um, but the tannins are soft enough that you can drink it on its own yeah. and then uh, bring out the food and just keep, you know, yeah. opening the third or fourth mm. bottle. Um, well, if Tom's at six. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just so versatile as well. It's been yeah. delightful and delicious. Yeah.